Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial and in this video we are going to talk about microscope parts and their functions. So what are the parts present in the microscope and what are their functions. Now this microscope is a little complex type, it's not the very simple kind of microscope. There's a modern microscope, stereotype of that. So I'm going to show you all the detailed parts and sections and their use, the practical use of those parts in a microscopy background. So this is a traditional light microscope which is known as a binocular or trinocular microscope because we have a binocular lens, binocular eyepiece or ocular lens to view and we have a third chamber to connect it with a camera. In this case it's a 5 megapixel CMOS sensor camera to visualize the pictures. Okay, So let me show you every single detail now. Okay? Now for microscopy, for light microscopy, the process is uh, simple. If you want to know the principle of light microscopy, how light microscopy works, I recommend you to watch my video on light microscopy details or bright field microscopy theory. But this is practical. So I will be talking about pra from practical perspectives. Okay. So let's uh, begin with it. The very first thing that I want to talk about from the, from the bottom to the top, this is what we are going to go. So for, for the bottom part, let me show you this. This is the bottom part here. So in this bottom part, let me zoom in a little bit that you can see, yes. Okay. So this is uh, the source of light. Earlier there was no source of light like this. Earlier there is only a mirror that reflects the natural light but now we have this light source. So let me turn on the light. This is the light on and you can see if this is the lights on and the light is going to come from this side. Okay. So normally uh, this light is connected with this, you know, direct AC connector. Otherwise, there's also battery inside, rechargeable battery. So when you connect it directly to the plug, AC plug 220 volt is going to light it up. And uh, in time, times of emergency, when there is a load shedding or power cut, in that case, right now it's power cut in here. So there is no direct light coming in, but the battery that is present there is now illuminating it. So as it's in the battery power, I'm going to turn it off because it's going to run out uh, the battery. So, so it's pretty much uh, con concentrated light. You can clearly see here uh, in this angle. This is the sample specimen angle. You can see the light and how much light is illuminating there. It's too much. Okay. And in this side, we also have a light a regulator. In this side, you cannot see that. So I can I can reduce the light. You can see the reduction in the light intensity. This is the reduction of light intensity, I can also get it up with higher intensity. So we can regulate that on our own and there is a switch in this side to turn the lights on and off. So this is the light source, the, the major source for light microscopy, a light which will pass through the sample and we are going to see the sample. But we need to stain the sample because without staining it, we cannot distinguish the background from the foreground because in light microscopy, the background is always white in color and the samples are darker in color, whatever stain we give them. Uh, it it, it uh, provides the color of that stain. Okay. Now uh, we are going to get a little bit up here and this is the stage. That's what we are going to talk about, about the stage. And the stage can be up and down with the help of two screws. This is one screw and this is another screw. Two screw. Okay. Screw number one, screw number two. This is known as the coarse adjustment uh, screw and this is known as the fine adjustment screw. Okay. You can see the coarse adjustment whenever I uh, go up and down you can clearly see that because it's going to change uh, the slides pos the, the, the stages position drastically but the fine adjustment cannot do that you cannot see that with the help of your eye but it does very minor adjustments okay of the same stage okay that's done this is how it's it's present one more thing one screw is present in this side i don't know whether you can see that if i zoom in uh, i'm going to zoom in ah, this is the screw you can see I can uh, tighten the screw or lose the screw. The job of this screw is that to prevent uh, this 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 slide uh, this chamber. You can see this is this is the uh, uh, mechanical structure of the stage, uh, not to pass a sudden height. Because if the stage comes up a sudden height, it's going to touch the objective lens. This is the objective lens. It's going to touch the objective lens, and that can damage the lens or the slide. To prevent that. We can just adjust this uh, position of the screw in here. Okay, we can do that. That's one advantage in here. It's a safety screw. Okay, done. 
So stage, you can clearly see the stage. Stage is nothing but made up with a very solid metal structure, black in color, always. It's a black in color. Although it's a white microscope, it's always black in color because it's always giving us the better light uh, absorption ratio. And here comes the, uh, along with the stage, we have this caliper in the stage. The, the role of this caliper is that, this caliper or what we can say is that it's a ruler can slide uh, the position of the specimen slide. Okay? It can change the position of the specimen slide. You can see now the, the specimen is out of focus. You can bring the specimen in the focus both horizontally and vertically. We can do that in both the way. And for that reason, we have a knob. And to show you the knob, I'm going to rotate uh, this. You can see the knob now. This is the knob. Here we go like this. And this knob goes like this and this. Okay. So horizontally, this is vertically. Okay. That's how the division is done. And then we are going to see uh, the lenses. Okay. The objective lenses. Objective lenses, there are four options present in every single type of uh, microscope. Four chances are there. You can use any type of lens. So here we have this lens. You can clearly see this is the lens. This is 6x objective in our case. Uh, sorry, it's a 6x. Let me put it down. This is 6x. Then we have, uh, this is 10x. Okay, yellow color 10x. Blue color 40x. This one is also 40x. Actually, these two lenses are same 40x lens, but made from different manufacturers who so have different structures. Mostly you can see this metal lenses. They are much better compared to this kind of lenses. I'm not going to promote or demote any company in here. But this is much better. It's my old lens, almost 10 years uh, old, but it's still giving us better image than this one. So I stick to this one. Uh, so generally the rule is you can add a 6x, 10x, uh, 40x and 100x lens in here. I did not put any 100x lens because I don't need that much of magnification, but 100x is possible always. Okay. And you can see this one, this is a spring regulator where we can put the slide. So we can just click in here like this. We can take our slide out and then we can again, uh, this is the out of slide and you can place the slide again, touch it with this back side and then slowly release it. Should not release this fast, slowly release it so that now the sl slide is locked. It will not uh, move out of the groove. Okay. That's why the prevention rule is given. So this is the idea in here. And then at the end, what we have, let me zoom out here up. Here you can see what we know as the eyepiece, right? This is the eyepiece lenses. Two eyepiece lens you can see clearly. Zoom down here, yeah. Two eyepiece. That's why you call it a binocular because two eyepiece lens is there. And in one lens we can adjust uh, the values. Why we have this adjustment? Because with the help of this, we can do that. We can slowly adjust it. And just because, you know, when you are looking into the microscope eyepiece, which is a binocular, the field of view is fixed. So you can change and rotate the field with the help of this rotation device. Sometimes in, in some microscope, you will find both rotatable. In this case, we find only one case where it is rotatable. One of them is rotatable, one of them is not. And the eyepiece lens can be easily taken out like this. Okay. The eyepiece looks like this. You can clearly see that both this side, this one. And this one. there's no big deal about it. Okay. The same things front and back. We we'll put it like that. That's all. Okay. No changes. And the last thing that I'm going to show you is the camera that is present here. This is the camera. Okay. You can rotate it like this as well. Uh, let me get it down a little bit. So, yeah, this is the camera and this is the USB micro USB port where we can attach the micro USB, which is this one. Uh, this is the micro USB side. You can see that we can simply connect it. And once we connect it, uh, the projection will be there in the screen where I can, I can actually see the projection right now. So the, the projection can be seen like that. You can just take the camera out quite easily like this. And you can also put it in like this. The camera is actually fixed with uh, eyepiece, which is 10x, not 15x. Uh, and generally in microscopes, they give you 10x of uh, eyepiece as well as a 15x eyepiece. Eyepiece, you can use both. But in this case, with the camera, they always give you 10x. Now, for my personal opinion, I find better results with 10x eyepiece compared to the 15x. Okay. 
So generally they give this 15x and all lenses to give you an idea about how much magnified image you can get. They tell you like 1000 magnification, 1200, 2000 magnification, 3000 magnification even. But believe me, if you know the theory of microscopy, you know one thing that 2000, 3000 X magnification is not at all required. The maximum effective magnification that you can get is with the 10x eyepiece and a 40x objective, 400x or max to max 40x objective and 15x eyepiece that's going to give you 600 times magnification. So from 400 times to 600 times gives you the best results most of the time and you can see most of the things like bacteria, you can see fungi, protozoa, you can see algae, you can see plant cells and everything with nucleus, mitochondria, sperm cells with color and every little details I can show you with the help of this 400 times magnification most of the times. We don't need to see any virus and anything with the help of this. So we are stick to this 400 times magnification only. Okay, that is a uh, kind of the idea about uh, the different structural components of a light microscope. And uh, now the thing is, when you turn on the microscope, you turn on the light. You put this uh, slide here, and you're going to focus the slide. You're going to see it with the help of the the lens, with the help of the binocular lens that is present there, or monocular lens whatever it's present there or you're going to see that uh, image with the help of a camera inside uh, your computer screen. You can do that. Everything is possible with the help of this method. Okay. So these are the different uh, parts of a microscope. One more thing that I must say, uh, which is absent in most of the microscope, uh, binocular, common binocular, monocular don't have that. Only trinocular microscope have that is this uh, thing. Okay. Uh, this screw, this screw. Okay. Now, what about this screw is that this screw, I can push it like this or I can drag it like this. Okay. There's a prism here somewhere in the middle of the binocular lens and the, and this monocular uh, camera lens. Okay. So when I push it, the vision comes to the binocular lens only. You can see things only with the help of binocular lens. Nothing is visible with the camera in this case. Okay. But when we pull it up, then the vision will be of the camera. The vision will be of the camera. Vision will be from the camera. You cannot see anything from this angle. Okay. So pulling means with the camera, no vision with eyepiece. Pushing inside with vision with eyepiece, nothing with the camera. One very important part I forgot to tell. Actually, I missed out that that thing is obviously. Uh, let me go down. Let me zoom in there. Getting it down a little bit. And that is regarding a diaphragm that I haven't talked about. Remember, diaphragm plays a very, very vital and important role. Uh, here you can see the diaphragm. This is this is this is the screw that I'm that I want to focus on. This is the screw. Okay. Zoom in. Getting it little down. Yeah, this is the screw. This is a screw for diaphragm. Remember, this is the course adjustment and this bottom one, I don't know whether you can see that. Okay. Course adjustment and the bottom one is uh, the fine adjustment. But between both, there is this third screw. And this is known as the diaphragm, the screw for the diaphragm, this one. Now, what it does actually, you can see here in the bottom, I don't know, you can see it. This is the diaphragm that you can see. This is the diaphragm. Okay. This is the diaphragm. And what we can do is that we can move the diaphragm up or down, up or down with the help of this diaphragm screw. This is very, very unique and very interesting. Most of the cases people don't use this screw. You know, in your colleges, you may not be able to use this screw. They will not tell you about the screw because diaphragm's job is to allow the light to pass, the amount of light to pass uh, or not. And here you can see another uh, for light, I don't know, you can see that it's too much dark in here. Uh, you cannot see probably. But this is uh, where a structure where you, you can go total blackout to total open up. So for example, I turn the light on and you can see there is no light virtually coming in the slide because I close the diaphragm. Okay. And if I, this is diaphragm's uh, screw, uh, I mean uh, the shutter. So if I Open the shutter, you can see, you can see, look at this part, look at this part, okay. Let me zoom in further to make it much clarified for you. 
yeah you can see that so no light here no light here but when i remove the shutter you can see the light coming in this is the job of the diaphragm okay this is the job of the diaphragm maximum light adequate light minimum light okay so it's very important uh, to regulate the diaphragm and not only that but also with the help of this diaphragm screw we can change how the light will be concentrated you can see the light is less concentrated when the diaphragm is present to the bottom below now if you drag it up if you drag it up you can see the light is more concentrated more concentrated light you can see now more concentrated light right at this point now it's much concentrated to the center by this fashion we can change the degree of light the amount of light that is entering into the sample specimen or slide okay and with the help of this diaphragm we can achieve different image structures we can achieve image structures gives us totally transparent i mean uh, i mean the sample fully lit or mildly lit or even least lit sometimes by changing this position of the diaphragm we can achieve pseudo 3d images of sample which i am going to show you with the help of the sperm sample that we took and we put it under the microscope you are going to see the red blood cell, cell sample that i already took and put it under the microscope with this technique we got almost a pseudo 3d image of it and sometimes we can also get a very detailed clear image with the help of the positioning of the diaphragm so many people underestimate the role of diaphragm in a microscope but uh, believe me the diaphragm is one of the very very important and very important component of a microscope okay so that's all about the important sections of a microscope all about the structure of a microscope and their functions i believe you understand the whole video properly if you like this video please please hit the like button subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified about any new video that i put into this channel if you don't like mention why and dislike and if you like definitely put some comments so that we keep making videos for you like that thank you bye